Hey guys, give me a break man here, and today I'm going to tell you about a couple ways to study kanji on the net. The first one is the Kaichan. To get this, this is a plugin for Firefox. If you don't have Firefox, go get Firefox. www.polarcloud.com slash rikaichan. Rikaisuru is a uh, verb that means to understand. Rikai is understanding. But anyway, go over here, and then what you're going to want to do is, is uh, install one of these and then the dictionary depending on your language English, German, French or Russian install that then you're going to you have to install both and you have to activate it with your toolbar I had a little I had to activate it for some reason I thought it would activate um, automatically but it didn't anyway then what it gives what it does is it gives you the ability to read all the kanji that your mouse hovers up over now over here we have a picture so this is not read as kanji but over here for example you know if you if you click over the Katakana, it gives you the meaning of it, which is sports. Of course, you have to be able to read something. Um, so katakana to katakana doesn't really help you if you don't read katakana. So you've got to learn the, the basics, katakana and uh, hiragana. But more importantly, it's really useful for kanji. Look at this. Let's say you don't know this first kanji, which is kane, which you should know because it's money, money. And it'll give you all the readings. Ogon, kane, kin, uh, kogane... Kigane, well, you, you get the idea, right? And you can click over one by one and get the readings, right? Now, sometimes it'll give you the whole word. For example, over here, it'll show you the most common set here. It'll, it, it captures the whole word, which is the Koro Shou, the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare, which is something that most people probably wouldn't know if they are starting off in Japanese, right? But it also tells you what the, what the um, first kanji means, which is Atsu, as in Atsui, which means thick. Right. Anyway, so it's a great learning tool. Isn't that great? Another another important tool if you're learning to read kanji is, for example, how to write a kanji, right? And this is this is the uh, yamasa.cc. I got this from Koichiban as well. For example, let's say you want to know how to write the kanji for hon, which is book. Plug it in, plug it in there, then do a search, and it will teach you the stroke order. You see? Isn't that great? There you go. You know, it teaches you the stroke stroke order. It also has kanji link generators and other nice little functions here. So check that out. The last thing that I thought was really cool was uh, well, not actually not the last. There's a couple more. The, another one that I discovered that I haven't seen Koichi talk about yet called the foodiganizer.com. Let's say that you have someone sent you this message and you want to know how to read this kanji, right? You copy it. Copy the kanji that you want. Go over here and paste it, right? Paste it in there. And of course, now I've got my Rikai thing going, so <laughs> it tells me what the, uh, what the uh, hiragana is going to be anyway. But if you want to actually get all of it pasted on there, go down there and click on Foodiganizer button at the bottom, and it gives it all to you on top, so you can read it at the same time. So that's pretty cool too, right? The last page, anyway, so you can put anything you want there. Kare wa baka desu. Now I can read it. If I couldn't read kare before, now I can. If, if you know your hiragana, of course you have to step, step up to the hiragana level, right? The other one is, is a place, um, this is a really cool site too. Let's say you want all the hiragana, just, you want all the hiragana uh, put on to the kanji. Copy the page that you want translated, right? Copy the URL. Go over here and drop it into here. Say go. And look what happens. Look. It's all there. So you can read it. Kimu tadashiku mo shi ga goku hi hochu. Right? There you go. Isn't that cool? Very useful. Right? And now you'll notice that the, um, the Rikai chan is disabled for the reading of the hiragana. It just tells you the meaning. So that's kind of cool too. I didn't know that happened. Oh, over here, they still get the reading for the kanji. So anyway, these are just some tools for you, for those of you who are studying Japanese, to you know step up and uh, improve that uh, the kanji. Right? Thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Oh, side of course, check the side, the links inside for information. So give him a break.